The biggest setback for someone new to essential oils is thinking that it is confusing and overwhelming and ultimately letting that stop you. And this could potentially be one of the most expensive problems when you're trying to learn essential oils in the first place to improve your health. I completely understand this given the many many types of essential oils available and the various instructions and teachings given by so many people. I mean, how and where do I even start, right? Do I start with one oil or a group of essential oils? How do I even use it? Am I using it correctly? It can be very confusing and overwhelming. But let me ask you this, has there been a time when you are learning something completely new to you, say riding a bicycle for the first time and finding it extremely easy and not confusing at all. To the point when someone presents the bicycle to you, you, with zero experience nor understanding of how to cycle, could hop onto it and cycle flawlessly for the first time? Well, for the majority of us, the answer is an absolute no. It is normal for us to fall, wobble around when we try to bicycle for the first time. It is normal for our brains to go into confusion when learning something new. In fact, this is part and parcel of learning because the brain is reorganizing new knowledge. The part where it gets overwhelming is the part where there is too much information and you don't know where to start. Which one comes first? Imagine you want to buy a car and a salesperson starts rattling off every available vehicle in the market right now, including bicycles, SUVs, trucks, four-wheel drives, race cars, along with all their specifications. You can see why that is overwhelming and an absolute waste of time, can you not? There'll be so much clarity if the salesperson starts with you, what you need. You need a safe car, one that can ferry your family of four around. You also need a bigger boot space because you grocery shop and need to put in a stroller. So really start by having a conversation with yourself. What is bothering you right now? What sensations accompany this issue? What brought upon this issue? Has this been with you for a long time now? How do you feel when it occurs? Write that all down. You are most important in this equation. It doesn't matter what the essential oils do because at the end of the day, you have to be able to apply in a way that suits your individual needs and addresses your issue. Then take a quick look at your lifestyle. Are you always on the go? Are you in the office? Do you work from home? If you're on the go or in the office, something smaller may come in handier for you such as an inhaler. If you're mostly at home, then you have a wider variety of different ways of using essential oils. Then go on and pick two to three of your most favorite essential oils to use that can help you with your issue. Here's a pro tip for you. If it keeps you relaxed, you're on the right path. So you can make a decision for yourself right now. Option A, learning about essential oils is overwhelming. Or option B, learning and applying essential oils is easy, simple, and fun. If your decision is option B, I'll see you inside the group shortly.